Good afternoon, James Frith here, and we're in Moorside this afternoon talking about schools, local school places, and the cuts under the Tories and the Tory government. So we brought Wes Streeting, Shadow Schools Minister, to speak to us about Bury and Wes. You brought the weather. You brought the weather. We, we can't be accused of being fair weather, that is certainly true. Uh, Wes, you've got specific uh, points to make about Bury, I think, um, not least because of what we get under a Labour Council versus the Tories in national government. Um, what, have you, what have you heard today and what have you come to say? Yeah, so um, kids across Bury are being shortchanged by the Tory government. We've got um, cuts to schools funding, which has had a real impact. We've now got way more children in class sizes over 30 than when the Tories came to power and Labour left office. And even on the COVID catch-up funding that's been made available to schools, Bury is getting so much less funding than other schools even across England. Uh, and that's got to change. Contrast that with the local Labour Council that is investing in school places, standing up for children and young people. And that's why we've got to get great candidates like Kevin Kieran elected at these elections so we keep our great Labour Council and hopefully at the next general election elect a Labour government that will cut, cut the size of classes, invest in school funding and make sure that every child has a bright future to look forward to. So look, we're taking this argument to the doorstep. We will be until May the 6th. Really important that you return Kevin and Kieran uh, as candidates. And we're supported here by local councillor Sandra Wormsley and the deputy leader, uh, as well as the lead for schools, aren't you, councillor Tariq? Um, so please do use your vote. Kevin, anything to add to, to wrap up? We're dis you're in distinguished company today, clearly. We're, 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 we're delighted to have such uh, support and we're out in all weathers talking to residents. We're going to cover every street in Moorside between now and election day to talk to local people about the issues which matter to you. One of those is school places and that's why we're brought Wes and that's why we're brought to Moor. Um, this is an issue that we are addressing. We recently raised Kieran and Sandra and I the issue of school places locally with Councillor Tariq and he has assured us that the council is doing the work to make sure we have the capacity in every school in Moorside so that every local child will get a place in a local school come September. But this isn't just a local issue, it's a national issue as Wes said. Huge problems with class sizes, uh, huge problems with school funding. Um, we're doing what we can locally, aren't we, Tamor? Absolutely, we're engaging at the moment with our local schools in the Moorside area. Uh, the local education authority, our senior officers, uh, are working with myself as cabinet member uh, and, and our colleagues here in Moorside to address the specific issues that we've got at Lower Wormsley, Chesham and at the top of Wormsley to look at the pressures that exist in our schools at the moment. We know that our schools are significantly under pressure in terms of school places, they've been let down by the government and that's why we're stepping in as a council at the moment proactively looking at this issue and hoping to come up with a local solution very quickly to ensure that every child in, in the Moorside area is able to be accommodated at a local school uh, in a standard class size. So Labour councillors working with the Labour Council are delivering for our area and will continue to do so. So please uh, give me your support, give Kieran your support on the 6th of May. We may not have James and Wes in government sadly, but we can have Labour councillors locally who are getting things done for Moorside. Vote Labour! Vote Labour! Vote Labour. Vote Labour. All hail. <laughs>